Over the last couple days, we installed a Snow Performance Stage 2.5 water methanol injection kit on this F80 M3. How much power does it actually add? Stay tuned. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. You may recognize this Yaz Marina Blue FED M3 behind me. And no, it is not Tommy L Garages. His is a little bit different and his is manual where this is DCT. This is actually the car that we filmed the Pure Stage 2 Turbo upgrade on. We did a CSF charge cooler, heat exchanger, DCT cooler, and many other mods on this car. And last week, we installed a Snow Performance Stage 2.5 kit, and we are super excited to see how much power it's going to add. Now, when you're running some kind of water or water methanol injection, there's basically three different things you can run. The first one is actually running just straight distilled water, and this is what you may find if you have an M4 GTS, as it comes with it from the factory. Now, although there's some cooling benefits, we want to add a little fuel. Now, if you want to add just fuel and you're going for maximum power, you can run a straight methanol mix from someone like VP Racing. Now, keep in mind that if you are going to be doing that, it's pretty flammable, so just keep that in mind. Now, our customer didn't want to have something super flammable in his trunk, so we are going with Boost Juice, which is a 50-50 blend of 100% methanol and also distilled water. Now, it is very effective at cooling and additional fueling, and it's pretty much windshield washer fluid, so it's not gonna explode in your trunk. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna light up this engine bay with my lightsaber here, and I'm gonna tell you about some of the things that this car has done to it. So as you can see, the first thing you notice when you look in the engine bay is it has a CSF charge cooler right up here, connected to some Keys Motorsports charge pipes, the only set ever made. Um, and in those, we have our Snow Performance Methanol Kit with the, the stainless steel lines. Now for this setup, we are running two number five nozzles per Paul Johnson's suggestion, who's going to be helping us custom tune this car today. You'll also notice that this car has things like a catch can, which isn't gonna add power. It has a VRSF front mount intake. We did a crank hub with the four pins in it. It has a heat exchanger, a DCT cooler. It has, and that's pretty much it for the performance. It's got incredible looking wheels and has suspension and some other goodies, but we wanna mainly talk about the water methanol injection. Now, when you buy a snow performance kit from you know, from the box, you pretty much get this little dinky tank that holds about three quarts. But we knew that we were gonna need a lot more meth than that. So what we did is we installed the Burger Motorsports three gallon stealth tank, which, you know, if you pull up to a car show or something, if you wanna show it, you can. If not, it's completely hidden and super stealth, which is incredible. And it's got three gallons of boost juice in there, so it's plenty of fuel for what we need for today. Now, as many of you know, the Stage 2.5 kit comes with the gauge style controller and also it's a boost gauge. Um, so we installed this 3D Designs gauge pod and then we also have this gauge. So for right now, as you can see, I have the injection set up to 40 PSI, which we're never gonna see in this car. Um, so but basically what we're gonna do is I'm doing that so that it turns it off. Um, typically what you do is you start a setting point by PSI of when you want the water methanol to engage and then you have another PSI that you load in there that's when you want to have the full spray. So we just bumped it up to 40 and 40 for now because this car is not capable of 40 PSI right now. So what we're going to be doing for our testing to compare before and after, we're going to do three runs on the dyno as it is right now. Um, as we mentioned before, we have the boost gauge set to 40 PSI. So with that, it's not going to be spraying. So pretty much the system is disengaged right now. So this is as the car is, and the tune that's on the car right now is the off the shelf hybrid turbo map from boot mode. So it's a hybrid turbo off the shelf, Anybody can download it. And uh, we're gonna do some base runs, see how that does. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna work with Paul to dial in the methanol injection. And then we'll compare with three more dyno runs to see how we did before and how we did after. Okay, before we can do anything, as many of you know, we need to hop over in dyno mode. All right, let's get started with run number one. Again, no methanol.
All right, so run one looks pretty good. 477 horsepower to the wheels and also 491 foot-pound torque. So I think that's definitely a great starting place. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do two more runs. So let me write this down so we can calculate it all out in the end. All right, so now we're gonna jump right into run number two. All right, so now that things are starting to warm up, you can see that our power has lifted a little bit. Typically what happens is your first run, a lot of times will be pretty good, and then your second run, a lot of times it'll be a little bit better, and then on the third run, you start to see a little bit of dip. So we are up to 493 horsepower, and then we are at 505 for the torque. So not bad numbers, but definitely room to improve. All right, with that, we're gonna jump right into run number three. Let's make it happen. So as I predicted, we went from 493 horsepower to 488. So that's why we've been trying to take an average of three runs. So the, the horsepower went from 477 to 493 to 488. So I'll average them in just one second. And then our torque went from 491, 505 to 502. So still some pretty strong numbers, but like I said before, there's definitely a lot of room for improvement, especially with a Paul Johnson custom tune with methanol injection. Okay, so Paul has instructed us that we need to set our snow performance gauge to start injecting at 12 PSI, and then do a full injection on 15. Now, if you're getting a custom tune, listen to your tuner, whether it's Paul or someone else. But Paul has suggested 12 and 15 is a starting point for us. Okay, so 12, 15, we are good to go. And now what I need to do is I need to flash his custom tune. Now, if you haven't done anything with custom tunes before, um, what you can do is if you go to keysmotorsports.com, we have Paul Johnson tunes and also Kerry Jordan. And what you do is you can purchase it on our site and then you go in here into your menu and you go to My Maps and then after you purchase the tune, you hit custom. And then what'll happen is it'll say um, waiting for, or tune requested. And then what, what'll happen from there is Paul or whoever your tuner is will send you your first revision of your custom tune. You go over what your fueling is, what your mods are, and all of that, what your power goals are. And then he's gonna send us a base map. So he has sent us a base map. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to flash Paul's first revision and we're going to dyno it while data logging just so he can get his data and we can get some data and we can track the improvements in horsepower and torque as we go. So with that, I'm just gonna flash the car real quick and then we'll see you back here on the dyno. All right, so I averaged the numbers together. Our average wheel horsepower in this car is 486 horsepower and our torque to the wheels is an average of 499. So 486 horsepower, 499 foot pound of torque. So like I said before, not bad numbers, but they're about to get better. So Paul sent us our revision. We have it all flashed up. We have our gauge all programmed and ready to rock and roll. So let's see what we can get with our first revision. All right, that was better than I thought. Our first revision with our Paul tune. Look at that. We jumped up to 537 horsepower. And our torque, 592. That is so cool. That's only the first revision. So now I'm gonna send Paul the data and see what he wants to do from there. All right, Paul just sent us over a revision. He took a look at our log. He made some tweaks. So we just got done flashing it and now we're getting ready for run number two. We definitely have some secret sauce going because we're up to 555 horsepower and 600 in 32 foot-pound torque. 632 foot-pound torque. It's insane. That's only revision number two. 
So let's uh, let's send this to Paul. We'll see how he made out and see if he wants to do another revision. All right, so that run, as you can see, 566 horsepower, so we're still going in the right direction. And then the torque is at 629, so everything's looking really good over here. All right, revision number four, let's see how we do. As you just saw, we got another 555 range and also 620 for the torque, which is completely insane. Um, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna send this over to Paul and see if he wants to make any other revisions. All right, so we just got another revision from Paul, so let's test it out. All right, so after Paul's latest revision, we are back up. We're at 567 horsepower and 627 foot-pound of torque. So. Once again, you know how this works now. Now, if you aren't doing this on a dyno, I mean, this is something that you can do at home. Uh, we would recommend doing it on a track, officially, uh, but some guys will data log in Mexico and whatnot. But basically, what you do is you basically just start it at around 2,000 RPMs and take it up to pretty much red line. And then you do the data log, and then you, the tuner will actually look at the log, and now we're actually sending the dyno graph too, so he gets the best of both worlds. Uh, but you don't need the dyno graph to be able to tune. And then he looks at the log, you tune, and he flashes, and then you just keep going back and forth. So um, this is about the fifth or sixth time we went back and forth, and each time it just gets better and better. So with that, I'm gonna talk to Paul and see how he feels. All right, so we're still working with Paul. We're gonna see if he can squeeze a couple more horsepower out of it and see what he can do about the torque, but as is, it is incredible. So as a reminder, when we did our baseline runs, which again was the pure stage two hybrid turbo map because this car does have stage two turbos. We were looking at an average of 486 horsepower and 499 foot pound of torque, which is a great starting place. After Paul put his magic sauce on this thing, we were able to get an average of approximately 565 horsepower and around 630 foot pound torque on average. Now we're still going to be playing around. So these are just approximate and might be off by two horsepower or two torque or so but that gives us about an increase of 79 horsepower but the torque is what always gets me the torque gained by 131 foot pounds so we're looking at about 630 foot pound of torque completely insane we're gonna need some wider tires on this thing and again that horsepower is roughly 565. So the gains again were approximately 79 horsepower and 131 foot pound of torque. Now, is that 100% just the water methanol injection? I would say no because we went from an OTS map, but it's going to give you a good representation, especially if you have stock turbos, on what kind of gains you can expect by doing a custom tune and also methanol injection, especially if you have pure stage two turbos. Now, if you do wanna put a meth kit on a car that does not have turbos, you can completely do that. There are endless possibilities. If you have questions, feel free to email us at info at keysmotorsports.com and we'd be happy to help you out. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you are interested in any of the parts that we demonstrated or the tunes in today's video, be sure to see the links down in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.